Billy Mari, also known as Soul Style Beauty, and I'm back. So today I have a special guest. I have my husband here. Um, and I have him here because number one is my latest life update that we got married in July. Um, July 17th to be specific. But then also like today I really wanted to do a video on adjusting to married life. And you know, I asked him, can he be in a video? Because he said no. <laughs> At first he did, but I'm like, come on. So basically we're going to be talking about adjusting to married life um, and stuff like that. So I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not subscribed, I really don't know what you're doing. Make sure that you subscribe, hit the button down below, and let's get into the video. And hit that notification bell too. Yes, hit the notification bell. He know. Alright, so the very first topic that we're going to be talking about is adjusting to finances and responsibilities. So. For me, I lived by myself for five years, um, so I kind of had my hands on the budget, so it was very important for me <laughs> to feel comfortable going into the marriage knowing like like we had the finances like down pat. So um, the one thing, like, and this is not something that I, I researched or thought of, but the one thing that, that was told to me like before marriage is like the biggest source of like conflict in marriage is finances. I think it was very important for us to have done what we did and I think what everyone should do um is talk about your finances there's no necessary necessarily there's not necessarily excuse me a set way that works that's across the board for everyone i think whatever works for you works for you or whatever you want to do is what you do as long as there's some sort of communication beforehand and so that expectation is set for both of you whether that be like okay we're gonna have a joint bank account and this is our budget and this is what we're gonna spend on this and that or like we're gonna have separate bank accounts and like like whatever works for you works for you but but i think as long as i think the important part is that there needs to be communication like specific precise communication about exactly what it's going to look like financially financially for you guys and that yeah. goes across the board even until like you were talking about the responsibilities, the responsibilities in the house but, like yeah but first i want to talk about a little bit more about the budget so basically or finances so basically what we do every month I have an Excel chart and we have like our um, bills that we need to pay but then also you need to key in like who you are as a person right so I know I like to go out Jose had likes to go out with his guy friends so it's like okay we decided to set up like fun fun so like every single month we get a specific type of money or a specific amount of money to do whatever we want with it whether that's shopping or this or that and a big chunk of our money goes to savings but whatever it is for you guys or whoever you're with I think it's super important to talk about um, your finances like your um, debt um, how much you owe because I think that all will follow down the line like I know for us we want to be homeowners but if you owe debt like that's a real conversation like how can we save money and how can we also pay down this debt so we can actually reach our goals and you know what we want to do so that plays you know a key part so gotta be real intentional yeah you do we both stick to our fun fun and like if anything, like we talk about, it, if anything comes up, but like it's never been an issue, a crazy issue about like finances so far. So next, we want to talk about responsibilities. How do we do that? Like responsibilities in the house and cleaning. Man, you don't be doing nothing. Not playing, playing. Man. Right. <laughs> it's the same thing. I think it boils down to just communication. Yeah. At the end of the day, and, and I probably say this over and over again for everything we talk about, it goes down to communication. And you got to talk about who's going to do what well, and, and have an understanding because the problem is like if, if, if you expect somebody to do that and you don't communicate that to them, it's like she expects me to take the garbage out every day, every two, every twice a week or whatever, whenever I have to take it out. But I didn't know that she's expecting that of me. And not that this is the case with us because right, I expected no. to take it out. But like say that I didn't expect her to do that. And so one day I'm waiting for her to do it because I did it the last time. She gets tight because I didn't take it out. But right. she never told me. So like that's not fair. So right. it just comes down to communication about it. And we sat down and we was like, all right, this is the layout of the house. This is yeah. how it needs to be clean. Let's like, split it up like this. this. Let's make it fair. Because, because like you can't be. So first off, you cannot clean the bathroom and the kitchen. I just feel like it's too can't. much. 
to me, I was like, we better do like two separate lists. So basically, we broke the sections of the house down, and like one person gets to do like section one, and another person gets to do section two. And like whatever our cleaning day is, like you know, which I be real aggy about it. I just hate spending my entire day cleaning, but we. It's not that I don't like to clean. It's just like. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. So basically, I just like to, um, I don't know, I don't like to spend my whole day cleaning. But okay, so the next topic that we're going to be talking about is just like living together during COVID, um, coming into one household, we both have different personalities, how do we adjust to living with each other? Um, I would say that COVID definitely allowed us to know each other much faster mm -hmm. because you don't have like those life fillers of like, oh, I'm going to work, oh, I'm going out with my friends, out to eat, I'm going here. Like, I feel like I'm with him almost 24 7. Not that that's a problem, but it's literally, <laughs> like, but it's like you pick up on like literally everything. Like, COVID has honestly like rushed the getting to know me type of stage for us and I'm thankful for that because I felt like we learned each other's habits much faster um, we learned a lot about each other um, as far as personality I feel like Jose knew that I how would you describe me am I like an introvert or like what do you think you're both you're an yeah. introvert it depends because you can be very outgoing but then you like your own time too yeah I do and I feel like I Sometimes I do like my own space and like he respects that. Jose definitely likes his own space too. Like so we give each other space. Like he likes to shit. <laughs> You're a mess. So he really likes to um, you know, watch his videos or his YouTube type of stuff, gaming type of stuff. For me, I like, you know, my lifestyle channels. Um, I like my different shows. Like he will be in the living room watching basketball. I'll be in the back watching like 90 Day Fiance. Yeah. I think I agree, like, the whole COVID situation has been a blessing and a curse because um, we have been forced to, like... A curse, though? I'm waiting for this. Accelerate it to get to know <laughs> each other, which is not a bad thing. But, it, I mean, it's a curse because, like, who wants to be stuck in the house right, all day? Okay. Like, at least I'm with you, but, you know, like, sometimes, you know, you want to go outside, you know, do, be in the street doing hood rat things with your friends. Like. Hood rat things with his <laughs> friends. What? Um, but... I just think that we learned how to serve each other much better, um, and yeah. So. It's a give and take. It's all about compromise too, because there's definitely things like that we each do mm -hmm. or don't do that the other person like is bothered by, and like to her it could be whatever. But to me, it's just like, why do you do that? Yeah, I remember um, we took counseling class real quick, and um, our counselor, um, Pastor Ty, he was like, you know. Picture your marriage as like, you know, the best meal you ever had and like picture all these flies trying to eat your food. Like these are the little things, but it like definitely gets to your relationship. So don't categorize them as just little things. Mm, yeah. So like for me, it's a lot of things that he he does like or and I do, I'm sure that gets on his nerves. But I think that you learned to take the L train. And you ride that train a lot. <laughs> I take that. You out, do for real. That's not a fun you train ride, to take. You ride yeah, that train. You take the L, so and cool. you have to figure out like what's work arguing over, and like you know you have those days, especially ladies, PMSing. And Child. yes, my days, like my PMS, honestly, this month was horrible. So, so now we're gonna talk about communication. So this is an area that we really, really, really struggled with, but I think that we've definitely gotten better. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Now we definitely improved, <laughs> and we definitely have a lot more room to grow. We're talking about um, getting to know, getting adjusted to living with each other, and like little things that we do that bother each other. Like if she does something that I don't like, and I spaz on her, like that's <laughs> not right. <laughs> like that's gonna just cause her to. Last yeah, like I you mean. meet the person where they at. So like, it's all about wow, not only what you say, but how you say it, and 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 I think that's been the hardest part of the relationship. Like even before we were married, like just learning how to communicate effectively, um, because that will break your your relationship if you don't know how to communicate effectively. It's not even about not communicating. Right. Like, it's not just communicating versus communicating. It's how you communicate things. Yeah. And, like, even going, shout out to Pastor Tyrone again because he he talked to us about this 
and he was talking about how communication, trust, and love, like what do you think like is more important, like what goes where, or what do you, I don't even think he phrased it like that. He's talking about like the foundation of the, of the most important thing yeah. in the relationship, and he said the foundation needs to be communication, because if we have good communication, we have healthy communication, we speak to each other in love, even when we're upset, or we, we, we talk civilly, like, if we can communicate well, we will learn to trust each other more. And with trust comes love. And yeah. everything builds on top of that strong foundation. Right. I, 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 like, you got to understand that you're coming into a household with people who are different, who communicated different in their households. So certain ways that Jose would communicate. And I'm like, who are you talking like, <laughs> Who are you talking to right now? Like, literally, who are you talking to? And like, I would communicate in a certain way and it will trigger him. And I just feel like when you're at that stage, like you need to really over communicate like how it made you feel. And one thing that we were working on as a couple is like not defending your standpoint and your perspective because like it doesn't matter if you think if you thought that was, you know, what your intentions was, if it came out a certain way and I actually received it in that way, we're going to have to adjust something because you're not dating yourself. <laughs> so I think that was the most I important thing. Sorry, you're not married to yourself. <laughs> so basically, you have to learn to adjust to what the other person like, you know, how's the other uh, how is the other person receiving um, what you communicate and sometimes I do think that it helps to over communicate so like sometimes we have a lot of expectations in our mind like I know I like a lot of structure so for example I would be like oh my gosh I have it in my mind today to go to the gym to come home and work on content to do this and like Jose like didn't know that but I'm like I'm literally grown like why do I need to communicate but I think that um going forward it's important to communicate even the structure of my day because then jose will be like okay i didn't know that you had this plan but now like i'm over communicating what my needs are i'm over communicating how my day is supposed to look like today so like nothing comes in the way you know some things you know you can't control everything but for the most part he's aware of everything that's going on in my mind and i think where people fall short sometimes even we do is that like we think that people are mind readers and yeah. it's kind of like uh, you know like i would talk to jose and i'm like this was like what i wanted to do today and he's like well i didn't know that and i'm <laughs> like why do i need to tell you like i'm literally grown right so it just goes back to like not even communicating and how you say it but like over communicating um what you what you want what your needs are and so on and really watching like your tone i know tone is very big for me um tone is very big in my household so if he you know said something at a certain tone and i'm like bro like i'm triggered right now like i'm gonna meet you at that same tone and it's kind of like getting into the mindset of practicing like okay how can i communicate this without triggering the other person in a way and even if i am triggered how can i react in a way that doesn't disrespect the person which is hard because when you triggered it's like you go on defense mode like yeah but that's the thing like where you're allowed to feel and it's one thing I've, I've had to learn and i'm still like getting better at day to day is like you you're allowed to be upset but that doesn't <laughs> mean you can speak to the person in anger you can be angry but you can't speak in anger you can't react in anger you can't because that's not love love is not easily angered yes like we're tied to our emotions like and you can see it all through the bible all everybody had different types of emotions even mm -hmm. jesus got tight at times flipping tables and stuff like but that doesn't mean like when you're talking to, to your wife or your husband that you're going to talk crazy to them right or anybody for that matter but yeah, it's we, not easy we're talking about a marriage right now so yeah so it's definitely not easy i don't want to make it seem like perfect. it's not definitely not but that's where we are with communication it's a work in progress. <laughs> That's the big thing to remember. It's always going to be a Always. Work in progress. Literally to the day you see the father. That's what everybody okay? keeps telling me. It never ends. Yeah.
keeping the spice alive so basically i know we haven't been married for years and years and years and years but like we said covid is currently on and going mm -hmm. and <laughs> so basically it's been, the hardest thing. it's been the hardest thing because like we're literally with each other every single day for the most part can't go Not nowhere can't do nothing. You're you gotta wear a mask. Nah, before, like. Oh, you're saying? I thought like, you said like, I'm not allowing you to go. No, no, like, no, 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 no. Because it's like because of like the the whole the, the whole situation, the climate of the country and the world, and the whole pandemic. Yeah. Like your options are limited. It's not like when, before we got married and we were engaged, or even when we were dating, like we were able to go to different places and like do things. Right. Like, couple, like our options are so much more limited. Yeah. And not everything is open. I think it's starting to open up now where we are little by little, but it, even still, it's not the same. Like, there's, there's a lot of limitations. So between that and then working from home and being home a lot and being together, like, you can only do but so much, which has made it very difficult. But you, that's why you have to be real intentional, I think. Yeah, and that's one thing that we're learning is like, okay, like we made a budget for, you know, grocery shopping. We made a budget to have fun with our friends and go shopping if we wanted to, but like, I, we also have been noticing we need to make a budget just for us to go out and date mm -hmm. each other. Like I was saying before, like, you got to be real, like, intentional about, like, just, like, not falling into a routine. It comes very easy, especially when you're home together a lot. Like, we've noticed that we've had kind of difficult conversations, like, can't just fall into a routine and not, like, continue to date each other. Which is hard, especially when things are the way they are right now. And, and when you're, if you're like me, I'm not a planner at all. She'll tell you, she'll test to this. I She's am the planner, the planner. Of, the, the planner. of the two of us. <laughs> I am Mr. Like, you know, spontaneous. Let's just go with the flow. But when the flow ain't going nowhere, like it ain't right now, you know, it's hard, you know. So we gotta get up and go and find right. it and make the flow. Right. And like one thing we've been, um, he'll, like, he'll walk me to the gym. We went to the park before. We worked out in the backyard, even though, like, Working out is not really his thing, it's mine. Oh, so, yeah. I work <laughs> like, out. we do things, you know, just I to try to, to like, have out. fun. So, yeah, but basically, this is how we have been adjusting to married life. I figured I'd come back on YouTube and have my husband join me just because it is my latest life update. And um, I will be posting more consistently now. Um, and I hope that you guys stick around. If you made it to the end of the video, you guys are amazing. Um, but no other than that, you are a real one. Other than that, I'll see you in my next video. And don't forget to subscribe. And ring the bell. Ring, ring, ring. School bell, ring. <laughs>